Hello and welcome to our talk about graph similarity and its application to hardware security. This is a joint work from Ruhr University Bochum in Germany and University of Massachusetts Amherst in USA. The paper has been published in IEEE Transactions on Computers. My name is Sebastian Wallert and I will guide you through this talk. The process of hardware reversing can be split uh, for two technologies. First of all, there are the ASICs, the application-specific integrated circuits. Here we first of all decapsulate an um, integrated circuit, then we delayer it, then we take images of each layer, and uh, we finally post-process all images to form a textual representation of the netlist, which can be then used for further netlist analysis. The other technology uh, we can uh, look at is FPGAs. Here we extract the bitstream from the board, or the SRAM in specific, and uh, convert the bitstream uh, 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 to a netlist, which can then also be used for netlist analysis. So when you think of netlist analysis, you might th uh, think that a netlist can be easily uh, divided in all its components, the CPU, the AAS, the communication cores, and all these interfaces in between. But in reality, it's a bit different. In reality, a netlist looks more like this. We have thousands of gates and connections between all these gates. And it basically forms a sea of gates where we first make, need to make sense of module boundaries and structure before we can uh, dive into a more advanced analysis. For this, we can use graph theory to further analyze this netlist. So we can interpret the, a given netlist as a graph. Here on the netlist side, we have, for example, some gates with a specific uh, Boolean function assigned to it, which can be in th graph theory interpreted as nodes, where the Boolean function is either applied via um, specific color to the node, or, uh, for example, use an annotation to the node, which uh, uh, forms a property of the node. On the other hand, we have some signals or wires that are, can be, in, be interpreted as edges uh, uh, in the graph. So graph theory can help us to identify structures and pattern within a netlist. The first research question we uh, discussed in our paper was how can we challenge graph uh, theory to analyze a given hardware design? Here, the most prominent uh, idea was how can we find module boundaries and how can we recover hierarchy. For this, uh, we are matching to known library components as, for example, AS crypto cores or UART interfaces. Um, we are doing that by, first of all, matching to library models, like specific uh, smaller, uh, uh, smaller components within the models, like S-boxes or counters. Then we uh, um, utilize Boolean function al analysis to find uh, similar functions um, uh, in the bigger design. And finally, we use subgraph isomorphism to find structural similarities in both graphs. Our second research question handles potentially erroneous netlists. So while we actually want perfect netlists, in reality, we usually don't get these. So there might be some imperfections in, in uh, uh, the netlist recoveries and the imaging, for example. We might uh, have a design obfuscation uh, uh, deployed in the uh, current design and analysis. We, uh, we have uh, used different synthesizers. We had, you have used different optimization strategies or different implementation strategies like uh, implementation for area or for speed. And the question here is, can we find, uh, still find similarities instead of exact matches? matches? So here we might use Boolean function analysis or subgraph isomorphism. Uh, the next question is, can these 
actually help us to find, for example, hardware Trojan in gate, uh, gate level netlist, which would, would be a pretty good uh, application for these techniques. So our contribution of the overall paper is we uh, applied graph similarity for hardware uh, security, so for example to find hardware Trojans. Uh, we uh, applied a novel similarity heuristic for use uh, in the hardware domain, and we added extensive of evaluation of these techniques. Before we dive more into our applications, uh, let's discuss first what graph similarity actually is. So in the graph G2, we have a specific structure that can also be found in G1. So all the edges and directions can be found uh, in G1 and G2, but maybe a bit rotated if you look at it. Uh, G3, on the other hand, don't have all the connections. So the connection in G2, 1 to 4, is missing in G3, for example, which would be alpha to delta. So we cannot say these G2 and G3 are isomorph, but we can say they are similar. And that's a property we want to use. So uh, when we uh, try to adapt a netlist uh, for use in, uh, uh, for graph similarity, we need to pre-process it. So first of all, we needed to identify all the uh, uh, combinational logic subgraphs in a design. So these are all the lo uh, logic parts between two flip-flops. Then we, in the phase two, we take these flip-flops and uh, convert it to the to Boolean functions that are based on uh, um, basic logical elements like ands, nor, not gates, or so on. This helps us for the further analysis and gives us more structure. After the pre-processing of the netlist, we now are able to apply the similarity algorithms. The problem here is how do we measure graph similarity? We, uh, we can either quantify graph edit operation or node neighborhood. So for our analysis, we let, uh, selected several state-of-the-art algorithms from the software analysis domain. These are adapted graph edit distance, adapted graph neighbor matching, and adapted spectral graph analysis. A list of algorithms that are, uh, produce inaccurate or performant results are graph isomorphism vf2 and maximum common subgraph, as it, uh, it can be found in the C++ boost library, adapted label transition systems, or adapted case subgraph analysis. As a, a function, we can think of these algorithms working by inputting two netlists, or two graphs, into an algorithm that, pre uh, that gives us a similarity score back, which we can further use for our, our uh, analysis. We implemented our analysis using the uh, HAL framework, uh, which is co also called the hardware analyzer, which basically gives us a graph structure for a given netlist. It is written in C++ for performance reason, and we added further parallelized evaluation strategies in it. You can uh, find the, the open source project on GitHub. We ran our tests on several uh, Google Cloud instance instances, which e each has 64 CPUs and 124 gigabyte of RAM. Um, the designs we use are synthesized for different FPGA chips and optimization strategies as standard routing or placement. Our first case study uh, handles the identification uh, of possible attack vectors in a larger design. So what we are doing uh, as an example is we are trying to find uh, non-composite fields S boxes from an ASIP core in a design, which can uh, later maybe use for uh, modifying the S box to uh, deplete the security of a, a given design. Here we use IAS IP cores with different S-Box implementation, either pre-computed table or composite field implementation. Furthermore, we use non-cryptographic IP cores, which are used to verify uh, our analysis. 
Expected results are that we find higher similarity scores for NIS with composite field S boxes and lower uh, similarity scores for IP cores without these composite field S boxes. Our results showed the best, uh, best uh, performed best for the graph edit distance implementation in this case. Our second case study uh, discussed in contrast to the first case study a technique to pre actually prevent attacks. So here we wanted to identify a Trojan within a bigger design. So the goal, as I said, is to identify the Trojan circuitry in a netlist. Here we used an original circuit with a Trojan and without a Trojan and several other designs uh, that do, uh, don't have any Trojan circuitry or any similarity at all. So our expected results are that we find a higher similarity for IP cores with a Trojan inside. And that's what we are, were able to show, especially uh, here in the, uh, for the uh, netlist number 12, where the Trojan is inside, we uh, found good results for graph edit distance and the spectral analysis. In conclusion, we uh, showed how to utilize graph theory for netlist analysis. Here we use e uh, matching not based on isomorphism, but on similarity. For domain adaption of the uh, netlist, we first of all identified all combinatorial logic subgraphs and uh, composed the LUTs uh, into basic logical gates to normalize the given netlist. We implemented our algorithm and analysis in HELL and uh, we were able to show in our first case study that we can find common attack vectors like S-boxes in a design easily and we are also able to detect trojans in a given design. The best results are, uh, can be found via graph at a distance and spectral analysis. These are our reference. P please keep in mind that uh, not uh, all the uh, references that are also included in the paper are shown here. But thanks for your attention.